we aim to generate positive returns in all market conditions with very low uh, correlations with broader asset classes. So the objectives of the BMO Market Neutral Fund are to generate 7% excess return over uh, the risk-free rate and uh, we think that we need about 10% of volatility uh, to achieve that, uh, that 7% uh, excess return. I think what makes this product unique is that first of all it's a purely systematic approach. Uh, the other element uh, is that uh, we use a methodology which we call our true styles methodology. A style or a factor is very simple, a quantifiable characteristic of a security. And people are pretty well uh, are pretty familiar with things like value or momentum. Uh, we have uh, five characteristics that we target in that way. So true value, true momentum, true size, low volatility and something we call true garb where GARP stands for growth at a reasonable price and where uh, the GARP block is very much a combination of valuation, growth and quality. So it's really to get an alternative for bonds or equities or for, as a matter of fact for something uh, in alternative, liquid alternatives uh, space where uh, the fees tend to be pretty high but what we can uh, say with high degree of confidence is that it will uh, lower the risk in the portfolio for sure because of the nice and low correlations the strategy has with both bonds, high quality bonds, as well as with equities. So our BMO Market Neutral Fund uses this true style approach, which I think is quite unique in the market. I don't know anybody else who's using it. I think first of all, well, the first uh, distinguishing feature is, is that we don't try to time the styles. So, and there are quite a few people out there that try to time and the styles are saying, oh, we'll go long, uh, we'll go overweight value now, or we'll go underweight momentum now. We don't think we need to do that. So we have a very stable allocation to the components we're targeting. Uh, and that also, uh, as a result, of course, reduces chances of being wrong uh, in the wrong style at the wrong time um, quite significantly. When we look at the life of the strategy, and of course we have live track record in the uh, product in our UK-based vehicle. So if we look at the period from uh, uh, mid-2015 to, to February 2016, actually MSCI World as a representation of equities uh, went down 17%. So that's not a uh, small, uh, uh, small drawdown. So the strategy, uh, uh, what what we're going to be running in this BMO Market Neutral Fund uh, returned 14% over that same period. So the market neutrality very much comes down to portfolio construction. So we make sure that the portfolio is long in individual securities, short in individual, individual securities. So uh, what we do is we go long stocks with characteristics that we think have positive expected returns and then we'll go short those stocks that have a negative loading on those same characteristics. So take value as an example, we'll go long stocks with high true book to price, eh, cheap stocks and we'll go short expensive stocks. So eh, how do we make sure that the beta is around zero? Now in portfolio construction we can, can force the portfolio to have a beta that's around zero, eh? the expected beta. Of course, the expected beta is not always the realized beta. So if we look at very short-term betas, the product has a beta of between plus a half and minus a half. So eh, that's still not zero, but that's still pretty limited. The first one is we use a risk model uh, where we calculate the expected risk of the portfolio and calibrate the portfolio uh, according to that risk model. Um, so we, we target the 10% volatility in real life eh? and again in that historical simulation the volatility of the product has between, been between uh, 7 and 12%. Uh, so not, it will not be exactly 10% at each point in time but that range is a very narrow range if you compare it, for example, with equities where equity volatility can be anything between 8% and 45%. 
to me, having a systematic approach gives a uh, uh, or should give a higher degree of confidence on the replicability of the returns we've uh, generated. So this is very much a uh, very much it's a hundred percent systematic strategy. The returns we've generated over the life of the strategy when we ran it in our UK vehicle have been very much in line with what we've seen in those uh, historical uh, simulations. I think the investors in the UK fund uh, tend to be very happy with it. Uh, that's also uh, uh, emphasized by the fact that we've not had any uh, outflows uh, from those uh, existing investors. That fund has grown from um, zero in 2015, where it was no money in it at all, uh, to around uh, in dollars, about a billion US dollars now, and that's all real client money. I think the BMO Market Neutral Fund is a very exciting product for the Canadian market, and we're confident that we can uh, get the same uh, success with it as we have had in the UK market, both in terms of asset growth as well as in the returns we've generated for our uh, investors.